Hi, you're watching MissMalady.com and as you can see, I'm looking very different than I normally do at the office today because as you know, we're representing uh, L'Oreal Paris at Cannes, we're the official blogger and I thought it would be super fun to ask Elton Fernandez, celebrity hair and makeup stylist, to come and give me a very Bollywood um, sort of glam red carpet look inspired by the 100 years of cinema. So tell me all about this look. So what we've done is we've used the Lower Sunset collection uh, right from the lips to the liner, which is beautiful. Um, and they've got fantastic nails, which we'll show you in a bit. Um, and today I'm doing one of my favorite things. I'm sitting in a chair and getting my hair and makeup done to do to create this look using the Lower Sunset collection. So what are we going to do today? Okay, so we're going to use L'Oreal's uh, new Sunset collection. We'll celebrate Bollywood's glamour, uh, but we're going to bring in that vintage element and show you how the stars do it on the red carpet. Uh, so we're going for that sort of a modern maybe version of the Veronica Lake side swept hair. Uh, so we've put Malini in these rollers and I'm going to start with her base and we'll take it from there. So I'm just using a little bit of uh, concealer so we have that sort of perfect, perfectly clean skin. It's a good base for the rest of the makeup. Using some base to just clean out the rest of the face. I'm now contouring her cheekbones, so we have a nice defined uh, bone structure. You go from the ear towards the nose and stop at the mid cheek. Adding some blush to the cheek, smile please. Again on the apples of the cheek, this is the biggest mistake that most people make. They put the blush here on the cheekbone, especially air hostesses. We want to go on the apples of the cheek when you smile. Define the eyes with L'Oreal Super Liner, Black Lacquer. It's a lovely felt tip liner. We we'll start on the outside again. And move towards the inside in one sweep. To define Malini's crease, we're using L'Oreal's uh, quad color ombre. It's called Color Riche Les Ombre. Okay, so it's a lovely quad. It's got uh, I'm going to use this warm, sort of brownish, reddish brown and put that in here. Start on the outside and move the brush to the I'm going to add a bit of a modern twist to this eye, um, inspired by Blake Lively, for instance. She's always got a little bit of a silverish or golden uh, tint that it looks almost like angelic and it opens up her eyes a little bit. So I'm using this light shade from this uh, L'Oreal's quad. Okay. I'm going to just take it on a tiny brush. Open your eyes, please. And just place it there, like that. You just blend, 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 blend is your friend. We're going to now, a very big, uh, important part of getting this look right is strong eyebrows. Uh, strong in the sense it has to have a great shape uh, because then it, it frames the eyes well, gives, gives the face, the bone structure, everything uh, a great shape. So we're going to fill Malini's eyebrows in. For me, makeup is incomplete without an eyelash curler. I think they should make them in real gold and it should be passed on as a family heirloom. I just think it's very important to open up the eyes. You can actually see the difference if you zoom into the eye. It's a double extension, sort of thickening mascara. Before I go in with those strong red lips, I'm going to use a liner so we keep the lips, the shape controlled. Uh, I've drawn a, like a cupid's bow on the upper lip and a little framing on the lower lip as well. Then we do, it's, it's literally like lip geometry. I'm going to use a lipstick from the Lower Sunset Collection. This one is number 288. Oh, it's called Intense Fuchsia. So it's a fuchsia. When you're doing the lips, if, you, if your lip liner or your lipstick uh, bleeds out of the lips, don't worry about it, it's no big deal. Just get a Q-tip, which is a earbud, dip it in uh, makeup remover and you can literally wipe off all the excess. Part of getting that whole vintage look is prepping the hair and getting that lovely sweep and wave in the hair. So what I'm doing is I'm passing, making different sections, clean sections, putting in some mousse into the hair. Take a hot roller, so these are heated rollers. You can. Find them in any beauty store. 
wrap them around the roller. The hair around the roller. Set it there with the clamp. I'm going to start taking off all of the rollers. You want to be mindful not to yank it out. You want to roll it like that. So I'm brushing out the hair. It's important to get a brush uh, that's not metallic, uh, that's made of animal hair. This is a boar bristle brush. So what it does is it infuses the hair with static. Um, it gives you that lovely fluff that's needed in the circle look. So I'm literally just brushing the hair out like so, brushing it out, allowing the hair to tell me where to go with the shape. So I'm not going to come with any pre preconceived notion of, oh, I'm going to make it turn this way and that way. The hair itself will uh, give me direction of where it wants to go. Telling me that it wants to go underneath there, and then it wants to come over here. Then. So, and then you can sort of find out. I went through my work kit, and I found this little cute star. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I found it at Accessorize, so, you know, easy to find. Uh, I'm just going to... Push this hair behind the ear and push in that star there. It's a cute little accessory. It's very red carpet. <laughs> yeah. And there we have it, Miss Malini, true Bollywood red carpet style. <laughs> This is number 828. It's a beautiful uh, silver with a little bit of a shimmer in it. So while I'm down on my knees, I'm going to use the number 822. And uh, it's sort of transparent. It's got this beautiful glitter and shimmer in it. I'm going to put it just on the tips, like so. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like you've been to a parlor to do it. It's really so simple. It's a complete change for Malini, of course, and I have a feeling she's going to get addicted to that mascara and the lift and the hair. So you might just see her like this more often. <laughs>